can you actually modify an electric car? Well, sort of. To understand that, first you have to understand how an EV works. So most of the drivetrain parts remain the same as in internal combustion engine cars, but the actual powertrain is very different. There's electricity which is stored in the battery, but before it goes to the motor, it needs to be converted from DC electricity to AC electricity. So it goes to the inverter, and then it goes to the motor where that electricity is converted to spinning motion for the wheels. So it's a lot simpler than an internal combustion engine car, so there's really a lot less to mod on it. Now what you can do is reprogram the car or remap it. So what's, what's in the Nissan LEAF is called a VCM or a vehicle control module. And what that is, is it's basically uh, an engine control unit. So what the VCM does is it really controls how the car works. So the VCM is located just behind the glove box and I'm not gonna actually show you in this car. First of all, because I don't have a screwdriver on me and second of all, because it's not mine. So if you take the, the glove compartment off in your LEAF, you can, you can see the VCM, it's this little black box and that controls all the electrical parts of the LEAF. So if you remap that, it can improve throttle response. Uh, you can tell the car through the VCM to discharge the battery faster, to send more power to the wheels. So there's all sorts of things you can do with that. And Nissan Nismo, Nismo is basically Nissan's uh, performance division. They actually sell kits for the LEAF. I know nobody buys this car to mod it, but Nismo sells this kit to modify and upgrade your Nissan LEAF. So that kit comes with uh, aero parts, so you get like splitters and, and side skirts and things like that. And it comes with uh, better suspension and a bun whole bunch of visual upgrades. But what that kit also comes with is an aftermarket VCM. And that will reprogram the car uh, for improved acceleration and throttle response. Uh, it can also remap the eco mode for improved range during cruising. So that's really the only thing you can do to the powertrain of an EV to mod it for better performance. Now of course you can do a whole swap with the battery, you can swap the battery out, you can swap the motor out. That is really expensive and it takes a lot of time. There's really not any bolt-on parts for the powertrain of an EV to make performance better. There's just not. You know, in, in internal combustion engine cars, you can, you can put in a turbocharger, a supercharger, cold air intake. There's all sorts of things that you can do to your engine to make it perform better. But with an EV, no one's really discovered any new ways to make it perform better yet. And I think that would be something that would do really well in the market today as EVs are gaining popularity. But there's nothing like that out there yet. And I, I really hope somebody comes out with something like that soon. And there are a lot of companies who offer uh, aftermarket uh, modification kits for the Tesla Model S. So Celine does that, Brabus does that, Larte Design, they all offer kits for the Tesla Model S, but none of them actually touch the powertrain. Sure, they'll touch the electrical stuff, maybe, so reprogram the car. And yeah, they'll do the suspension as well, but nobody actually like puts anything in the motor to make it perform better. So without investing tons of money and time into your electric vehicle, there's really no way to mod the powertrain, yet. So as always, thank you for watching this video. Please like it for me. Comment below if you have any comments, suggestions, anything to say about this car or cars in general. And if you're interested in cars, please check out my channel. I do all sorts of reviews with supercars, hypercars, and yes, even EVs. Remember to subscribe.